scientists discovered new Earth-like planet in our nearest star, Proxima d. If we hope to someday make contact with life around another star, there's no better place to look than at worlds around Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our Sun. Astronomers had already detected two exoplanets orbiting our closest stellar neighbor, which is only 4.2 light years away. And now, on February 10, 2022, researchers using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, VLT, said they found a third planet next door. The planet Proxima d is only one quarter the mass of Earth and one of the smallest and lightest exoplanets discovered so far. It seems like the Proxima neighborhood is getting a little crowded. So what have scientists discovered about this new planet so far? Is it habitable? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World! In today's video, we are going to talk about the discovery of a new Earth-like planet in our nearest star, and whether it shows any signs of life. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. Proxima Centauri is the closest known star system to our own, and if humans develop the technology to travel beyond the confines of the solar system and reach interstellar destinations, then it is top of the list of first targets for such a mission. Now we have more evidence that there are diverse worlds waiting for these future endeavors to explore. The discovery shows that our closest stellar neighbor seems to be packed with interesting new worlds within reach of further study and future exploration, says Joao Faria in a statement. Faria is a researcher at the Instituto de Astrofisica e Ciencias de Espaco, Portugal, and lead author of the study. And there's more to this discovery, but let's go back in time a little and find out where it all started. Proxima Centauri is a low-mass red dwarf star, thought to be about an eighth of the mass of the Sun and 500 times less bright. Proxima Centauri is located 4.2 light-years away from our solar system, and it is one of the suns of the Alpha Centauri star system, the closest known star system to our own. It consists of two stars interlocked in an orbit around each other, or binary stars, and one other star. In addition, although Proxima Centauri is the closest star to Earth, it is too small and too dim to see with the naked eye from our planet. Therefore, armed with powerful telescopes, in 2016, scientists discovered a planet orbiting around the little star. Scientists discovered another planet called Proxima Centauri b, which orbits the star at a distance of roughly 4.7 million miles, with an orbital period of approximately 11.2 days. This planet is about the same size as Earth and orbits within the star's habitable zone, an intriguing prospect for future exploration. Meanwhile, another exoplanet, Proxima Centauri c, is what is known as a super-Earth or mini-Neptune planet, was also discovered later on. That's about seven times as massive as Earth. It orbits around its star once every 5.2 years. So, Due to the star's dimness and the planet's long orbital period, it is unlikely that Proxima Centauri c is habitable. Now meet the third possible planet orbiting our nearest star. The astronomers call the new world Proxima d. This follows the discovery of the two previous planets, Proxima b and Proxima c, in 2016 and 2020, respectively. Proxima d is one of the lightest exoplanets found to date, at only about one quarter of the Earth's mass. The new found planet orbits close to its star at a distance of approximately 4 million kilometers. That's more than 10 times closer to its star than Mercury orbits our own Sun, and it completes one orbit in only five days. So, Proxima d orbits closer to its star than the inner edge of the habitable zone around the star. The habitable zone is the region where liquid water could exist on a rocky planet. Since Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star emitting less heat than our Sun, the planet might not be as boiling hot as Mercury. However, its estimated equilibrium temperature, if it has no atmosphere, is still about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And we don't know yet, though, if Proxima d has an atmosphere or not. Lead author Juan Faria at the Institute of Astrophysics and Space Sciences in Portugal said, The discovery shows that our closest stellar neighbor seems packed with interesting new worlds within reach of further study and future exploration. Adding to this, as with the previous planetary discoveries at Proxima Centauri, 
the researchers used a shell spectrograph for rocky exoplanets and stable spectroscopic observations, Espresso instrument on VLT, to confirm its probable planetary nature. The researchers needed Espresso's greater precision for additional confirmation because the planetary signal was weak. So at this point, Proxima d is technically still a candidate, although the results seem to confirm it is not just a misidentified change in the star itself, Faria said. After obtaining new observations, we were able to confirm this signal as a new planet candidate. I was excited by the challenge of detecting such a small signal, and by doing so discovering an exoplanet so close to Earth. He also added, We performed several tests to rule out the possibility of stellar activity as the cause of this signal, and they all pointed to a planetary origin being the most likely. However, there is always a chance that we were fooled by the star. So, we can say that Proxima d is an exciting discovery because it is one of the smallest and lightest exoplanets found so far. It is also the lightest exoplanet ever measured using the radio velocity method. That distinction previously went to a planet about one half the mass of Venus, orbiting the nearby star L98-59. The radio velocity method detects tiny wobbles in the motion of a star caused by an orbiting planet's gravitational pull. In the case of Proxima d, that movement was extremely small, only 16 inches per second, or one mile per hour. The successful result shows how sensitive and capable Espresso is in detecting exoplanets. According to Pedro Figuera, Espresso instrument scientist, this achievement is extremely important. It shows that the radial velocity technique has the potential to unveil a population of light planets, like our own, that are expected to be the most abundant in our galaxy and that can potentially host life as we know it. To this, Faria added, This result clearly shows what Espresso is capable of and makes me wonder about what it will be able to find in the future. So, scientists are increasingly excited about this discovery. According to them, each of the planets in the Proxima Centauri system provides an interesting case study for exoplanet scientists, and this is the most amazing thing about them, because they exist together around one star, but they are all very different from one another. This oddity, as well as the tantalizing prospect of at least one planet firmly within a habitable zone, means scientists are always curious about whether or not a future mission could be prepared to visit the star system and its orbiting planets. Furthermore, the scientists behind the recent discovery are also hoping to find more lightweight planets using the same instruments used to find Proxima d. So this discovery not only demonstrates the way exoplanet studies have grown by leaps and bounds in recent years, it has also made Proxima Centauri even more appealing to astronomers. With three exoplanets discovered around this closest stellar neighbor, the research potential is immeasurable. Moreover, in the future, these activities will benefit tremendously from the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, which will start gathering light very soon. In addition, exoplanet surveys using the Espresso instrument will benefit from the Extremely Large Telescope ELT, which is scheduled to become operational by 2027. Between its 39.3-meter primary mirror, 4.2-meter secondary mirror, and an advanced suite of instruments which includes a spectrograph, coronagraph, and adaptive optics AOs, the ELT will play a vital role in expanding the exoplanet census. After this discovery, we can safely assume that there are billions of planets, both small and big, still hidden from our eyes, far beyond in the universe. This hope of finding new planets also encourages us to find life in other places than Earth, which has long been an ambition of scientists. So, even if Proxima d does not host any signs of life, there are plenty more planets waiting to be discovered and explored. And this is where space exploration is going to take a huge turn and change our perspective about the universe and what we might find there. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.